We spent some time measuring the angles and the sides of two triangles often found in geometry sets. We found that we have a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle and a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. The triangles ended up having different side lengths depending on how large or small the triangles were. Let's verify the trigonometric ratios sine, cos, and tan using these measurements. I want to know if the sine of 45 degrees is actually opposite over hypotenuse. I want to know if the cosine of 45 degrees is actually the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And I want to know if tangent of the angle, 45 degrees, is the opposite over the adjacent. Let's use the calculator. I'm going to use the inverse buttons to find the angle measure. Keep in mind before we do this, we won't get the exact degree, but we'll get pretty close. Second function sine of 5.9 divided by 8.3, and I'm hoping to get 45 degrees. And there it is. Second function cosine, 5.9 divided by 8.3, and I'm hoping to get 45 degrees, and I do. Second function tangent of 5.9 divided by 5.9, which is one, should give us 45 degrees, and it does. I wanna know if the sine of 30 degrees is actually opposite over hypotenuse. I wanna know if the cosine of 30 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. And I want to know if the tangent of 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent. But I also want to know if the sine of 60 degrees is actually opposite over hypotenuse. And I want to know if the cosine of 60 degrees is adjacent over hypotenuse. And lastly, I want to know if the tangent of 60 degrees is opposite over adjacent. Let's use the calculator to verify. I'll try to find the angle again using the ratios. Second function, sine, and the ratios 5.1 divided by 10.2. And I should get 30 degrees, and I do. Next, second function, cosine, and the ratios 8.8 .8 divided by 10.2. And I should get 30 degrees. And I do. Inverse tan of that ratio. And I should get 30 degrees. And I do. Second function sine to get the inverse. And the ratio is 8.8 .8 divided by 10.2. And I should get 60 degrees. And I do. Second function cosine to get the inverse. 5.1 divided by 10.2, exactly 60. And the last one, inverse of 10, the ratio is 8.8 .8 divided by 5.1 this time, and I should get 60 degrees, and I do. Keep in mind that we have measurement error, so the degree won't be exact every time, we verified that the sine, cos, and tangent ratios work based on the measurements I took in Mathagon, but I encourage you to use different size right triangles and see if you can verify these three ratios yourself. 